Morning Primary 2. Well, today we shall be going through the World Play Poems Oxford Anthology Book Unit 9. Once we've read all the poems together, we have to do a few activities. So first, we're going to write our own animal poem. Any animal you choose. Okay, after reading sheep poem and the poem, if you talk about a cat, for example, you must write it in such a way that you have the cat sounds or a dog will, that would be the dog sounds, etc. Okay, then you shall be doing activity book page 96. And finally, today is a very special day. It's family day. So I would like you to write a beautiful poem about your family and give it to them. And also send me a copy, of course. So let's go through the poems together. So first of all, we have read the poem on page 90, which is called Over My Toes. So let's go through it together. Over my toes goes the soft sea wash. See the sea wash, the soft sand slip. See the sea slip, the soft sand slide. See the sea slide, the soft sand slap. See the sea slap. The soft sand wash over my toes. The next poem we read was the elevator poem. You remember we read it from the bottom to the top. So let's go through it together. Beware the elevator. If you see one in a shop, he will let you ride upon his back, then eat you at the top. So on page... 92, we had read the shape poem. Okay, the elevator was also a shape poem. And this one is in the shape of a tree. And it's called the tree poem. The leaves have all left, but the tree will be all right. It's a lovely poem, isn't it? On page 93, we had read the poem called Name That Dragon. Dragons have the oldest names, dark as danger, fierce as flames. Golden fang or spiny tail, fury, rory, rattles, gale. Sky lord grabber, princess catcher, shadow ladle, hero snatcher. Thunder tooth or smoky jaw, smolder, scorch or cinder claw. Leather wing or sorrow maker. Cavern king or treasure taker, battle queen or mighty biter, sword snap, bone crunch, fiery fighter. Dragon names are secret things, wild as weather, swift as stings. We also had night lights, which was a tongue twister. That was on page 94. There is no need to light a night light. On a light night like tonight. For a night light's lights, a slight light, when the moonlight's white and bright. Well, today, page 95, we are going to read sheep. Now, there's something special about the way sheep has been written. It's a little bit like a tongue twister, because it's quite hard to read when you read it out loud, yeah? So let's see if I can do it well and we can do it properly together okay when we can't sleep we all count sheep we count each other's fathers mothers uncles aunties sisters brothers over the wall we count them leap and very soon we're all asleep so notice that they've used animal sounds in their sheep poem. And the animal they've chosen is obviously a sheep. And the sounds are the sounds of the sheep when it bleats, okay? It goes, sheep, okay? And that is when you're going to be doing your activity, okay? So now it's your turn. Write your own poem about animal any animal you choose. Include animal sounds and a beautiful drawing, okay? 
Now, after this, I would like you to go to your activity book, page 96. And it says, what do you think? Which story, poem or facts do you like best? Draw a picture of something you enjoyed learning about. So after going through all the poems in Unit 9, you choose one poem which you enjoyed best. And you must write two sentences about what you liked best and why. And now, finally, today is Family Day. It's a very important day, okay? And to make something special for your family, I would like you to write a poem because the poems I have received are really fantastic and you're very good at it. And I know your family will absolutely love receiving those poems. When you've written the poems, if you can't see your family, you can send a picture to their telephone or to their email and I know you'll make them very happy, okay? So, today is a very special day. Happy Family Day. I would like you to write a beautiful poem about your family and give it to them. Send me a copy too. Well, have a lovely weekend and I'll see you all again on Monday. Bye-bye.